And let's start editing. And so as you can see, this plane is not that sharp. It's a little blurry. So let's go in, let's do some edits. Let's see how I want to do it. Let's, uh, let's first, let's do picture control. How do I want this? I probably want to go monochrome. So let's do monochrome. Oh, sorry. Let's do monochrome. Let's do it again. I got excited there for a moment. There we go. Monochrome. See, made it old school. So that's a secret. I just showed you a secret. If you ever have a blurry photo, or it's not that sharp, I always go monochrome. That's a secret for, for me and you. So since this is black and white, we can adjust how much we want it. How much exposure compensation? How dark do I want this? I want it to look old because we're in a museum and I want to make it look like it's ancient. So, brightness, let's take it away. Let's take it away from the edge a little bit. Shift it to the right. So when it shifts to the right, that means it's bright. When it shifts to the left, that means it's uh, too dark. All right, so. Do I want to bring anything? Let's do shadows. Is there anything? I, so with the shadows, I can bring those out. So do I want to, let's see what the highlight protection does. So you always want to play with all your sliders to see if you get what you need. Notice how that curve moves down here. See how that moves? So let's adjust the curve. To, ooh, ooh, that's getting testy. That's getting... A little testy, let's adjust it. Yes. I don't want it that bright. I want it a little moody. I want it to look a little shady. Right about there. And next, what do I want? Do I want to, what else is there? There's nothing else. Most of these down on this end, I want to sharpen. I want a little sharpness. See, it, see how it sharpens? It's improving the sharpness. How sharp do I need it? So, notice how I change that. Now say I don't want the darkness up in the corners here. So I can always use the auto retouch. See how it tried to affect that. So let's change the brush size. I don't want this part up here anymore I can always send this to um, Lightroom to do further edits but if you're not going to or if you're just trying to use this you can always play with this to do your edits let's see what that looks like let's undo that you can always do a Control Z, you can always use Control Z. If you don't want to use the button, I'll use Control Z and Control Z again. And that re undo, undoes that and Control Z again and say that undoes another step. So you can always use Control Z also. Okay, now we're going to use the color panel tool to uh, adjust the brightness of a certain area. So we want to adjust the brightness in this area.
Notice how I adjust that in the area? Say. And that's what the color control can do for you. So I want to show the affected area. Do I want to show the affected area? Sure I do, say. And that's the area that was adjusted. And let's change the radius. So do I want to, I want to go right here and I want to change the brightness. And see, I almost got the, and right here you can adjust the size. So I just wanted to adjust this part right here. Notice how I adjust that. I forgot to do that. I had such a large area. There you go. And then um, it's already bright enough. How bright do, how dark do I want it right there? No, nope. I want to go back this way, all the way. And I basically fixed it. I basically added a little bit more flare. So let's see if I can take that away further. So, oh, let's undo that. Control Z. Control Z is very convenient. Then we'll do that. That looks a little better. Okay, we'll move on. See how I have, I adjusted that? See, I can adjust it up and down. Portrait. I'm doing that with my mouse, with my scroll mouse. And also you can do that with this or you can use your manual control. See how that works? Then you can pop it back to the window. Then you can put image back to the window. Up. And in one fell swoop, fit back to window. All right. And here you can view or hide the film strip down at the bottom so you can get a full screen version. And here you can switch to all image view where it just shows the image and none of the palettes on the side. And then you just click it again and it goes back. What do we want to rate this photo? Rating. So let's rate this photo. What should the rating be? I gave it a five. Uh, let's move it to a three. I want to give it a three. I want to make it a three instead. Sorry, that's what happens. All right, let's move to another photo. If you need any more help with uh, NX Studio, you can always go to the help site and you can view the reference manual. And this is NX Studio help and you can download the product manuals for NX Studio and NX Transfer 2 and get information on each thing about viewing pictures, filters, enhancing pictures, custom picture controls, merge pictures taken with pixel shift, video editing, slideshows, uploading pictures to the web, printing, exporting pictures and options, and you can get whatever you need and also menu lists for anything not mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching and watch my other NX Studio videos and my other videos on Nikon products. Thank you once again.